Hey Freezies, Freezy98 here, and today I'll be doing a DIY phone for your LPS. And before we start the video, I'd just like to say that there may be a couple background noises, but that's because there's people home, and people actually live here, so yeah. The end product will look something like these. Let's get started. You will need foam in your choice of color, black foam, cardboard to strengthen it, and Sharpie or a pen. As you can see in this phone, I used pen for the two dots and the, well, button. But on this one, I used the Sharpie for the two dots and the button. So, yeah. Whichever one you want, thick or thin, it's your choice. So the first thing you should do is plug in your hot glue gun because you're cutting very little things and it needs lots of time to warm up. You'll also need scissors, I forgot to mention that. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna, well, measure cardboard. You can trace out with a pen, but I don't. I just take it like this and then I cut it out. As you can see, that's where the cardboard ends. So I'm just gonna cut it there. Like so. You don't even have to cut it that far, just the sides of your phone. And then I'm going to cut it like this for the size that I want. So I'm going to cut it this size. And then I'm going to cut it one more time just so that the cardboard's cut the right size too. And there you go. You should have three pieces. One piece of colored foam one piece of cardboard, and one piece of black foam. While you're still waiting for your hot glue gun to warm up, you can cut strips of colored foam. You only need about one or two, depending the size, and you're just cutting it the same color as your foam. In my case, I'm doing yellow, and I already went ahead and did that. But as you can see, it's just a pretty thin strip, because once all your layers are together, um, this strip's going to go around them. So, it's like... Okay, so hopefully your hot glue gun is all warmed up by now. And so first, you're going to put a small dot of glue on, well, small, medium, whatever, of glue onto your cardboard, like so. And then you're going to place the square of colored foam or black foam, this order doesn't matter, onto it. And... Then I just use my finger to wipe away the glue. I know I sh probably shouldn't. I should actually use something. But I rarely get burned, so it's okay. And then a trick to getting glue on yourself, when you get glue on yourself, is just to rub. So I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and then you just do it the other side, too, with the black foam. Take the black foam, put it on, make a sandwich. Try to line it up and see... You wipe it like this, and then you rub your fingers like this, because that gets the hot glue off of it immediately, and it doesn't burn your other finger, so. Yeah, that's good. And then you just gotta wait for this to cool, or not, it doesn't matter. If glue's still really wet, you wouldn't want to do this, but if it's not, um, only wipe it with your finger after it's cooled a little bit, so that it doesn't burn your finger. Anyways, so now you're gonna put a thin line of glue and then the other color strip, your colored strip, onto it. You don't have to measure it out or anything. And then, yeah. And then you can wait for this to dry or just a little bit so it stays in place. And then turn. Then you do it again on this side. And then you place it, like so. Wait for it to cool a little bit. Wipe away the glue, because you can't have the glue on, otherwise it looks bad. Um, of course you can wipe away the glue with something besides your finger, because sometimes the glue is too hot. But, you know, you can do use whatever you want. Then you do next side. Hold it down. 
And after it's in place, wipe. And background noise, a moment. Okay, so now you're going to continue and do that for the last side. Like so. And hold it down. And yeah. I should have filmed it, but all I did was snip the end of it off. So it's just right here. And you can still use this, so don't throw it out. So now we're almost done. And now all you have to do is put a thin line of hot glue across the top. And then put this on. Try saving as much foam as possible. Because you, you still need it one more time. And you can always cut more foam. But... Hopefully you don't need to, because cutting can sometimes be annoying. And then, this is what I just did with the other one. One moment. Then you just cut the rest of it off. And then you take this. And once again, thin line of glue. And then you put the foam on. Wipe away the glue. And mine actually turned, my phone actually turned out really square, so it doesn't have much of a screen, but this one I did longer, and you can see there's a nice screen there. So, yeah. Okay, so now the last thing you have to do is just take your Sharpie or pen, I'm doing Sharpie, and you just Put a small dot and another dot. And then down here, you put a bigger dot. And then there you go. Your phone's done. Okay, so I hope this video helped. And I hope you enjoyed. Um, see you in the next video, Freezies.